Mr. Ito and Ms. Tosias. I am going to present you my map to your well. What I'm going to show you is my homework completion chart. As you see, like for homework number four, I didn't do it at all because, um, well, mostly sometimes you always sit me in the back and you sit me with like the people who um, talks to me. So I didn't get my work done. And also since Ito, <laughs> and also since um, my schedule has changed, it actually like threw me off. So I don't know what to do now. So as you see, like for my homework five, I did complete it. My homework six, I haven't. My homework seven, I did complete it halfway, and then I didn't um, turn in my homework, my notebook, so you didn't check it at all. My next one is my assessment score. As you see, like, I've been doing like completely bad, and I should, <laughs> I should um, be coming to office hours, which I haven't been doing this whole semester and I really want to improve that like I don't I haven't gone to office hours I don't have a study group and also I haven't been studying for upcoming quizzes tests and exams um, my lowest essential skill is geometry basics 1.2 um, learning the geometry basics is actually angles and parallel lines postulate and theorems, corresponding angles and alternate interior um, angles, and my misunderstanding on um, alternate interior theorems. Comparison on my quiz and test. This is the quiz. My misunderstanding was getting the angles wrong. As you see, it's like you circled here and then you crossed out C. And then for my test, what I got confused were also um, the angles and I didn't recheck my work because I thought I was confident and I was doing great on the quizzes. So that's why I thought I was just doing good on the test. Um, my other comparison is my other quiz and test. My, um, this my misunderstanding was the definition of postulate and theorem of congruence. And what I did it, uh, what I got wrong was my linear pair. Um, I do sometimes, I do actually zone out in your math class because basically it's so loud and I'm not able to concentrate and to understand the meaning of the, of the topic and the lesson that you're teaching. For my chemistry, I'm going to be doing unit one gases. Um, the first one is standard, <laughs> standard temperature and pressure, um, pre uh, temperature, pressure, and volume, the phases of matter diffusion of gas, and gas law. For my stand, uh, for STP, standard uh, temperature and pressure, you gave me an A for my essential skills. If a standard um, temperature and pressure have all ideal gases, moli uh, molar vo volume the same, the ideal uh, gases takes up 22.4 liter in every one molecule and one mole, actually. Well, it's at, well, at STP. First, you have to multiply either the liter or the mole with the 2.4 liter, and then you have to divide it, either it's a, a liter or a mole. And then you have to get your answer, whichever answer you get, like if it's saying like, what, how much space would three moles of helium gas takes up for STP? As you see, like I have to find the meaning of the liter, like how many liters it takes up. Temperature, pressure, and volume. I received a perfect 
A, which is my best one. For this one, you have to add Celsius with 273 to get Kelvin. And also, you have to subtract Kelvin with 273 to get Celsius. As you see right here, this is my notes from my class, um, yeah, from my class notes. Right here is the seven, um, seven Celsius. I have to add 273 to get 250 Kelvin. Phases of matter and diffusion of gas. I got a B minus for this. Um, the diffusion of gas for this one, like the maintained states of solid, liquid, and gas, it explains on how how the molecules are together. As for solid, the for solid, as you see, it's all together to create like a um, vibrating like stamina. For liquid, it's like kind of like spread out like slow because it's um it's actually going in different places. And then for gas, as you see, like, it's spreading out, it's all crazy, and it's in one little, like, for example, for a balloon, when it's going way up, like, the pressure is pushing the balloon, so that's why it's making, like, the gases go crazy, and that's why it inflates. And then for gas laws, I got a C on this one, which also a B on ideal. On the, uh, on the relationship for pressure and volume of the gas, as you see, if volume goes up, pressure goes down, and then, which is like instant, and then if, if temperature goes up, then volume also goes up, which is constant, as it's um, P1, V1 divided by um, T1 equals P2, V2, divided by T, um, T2. And that is all. Thank you. Do you have any questions?